चंद्र डिड वी कम फ्रॉम मंकीज no i mean not 100% true as per like last class i attended right so we we did go through uh different slides um no it's it, it it's not no 100% a fact so this is just one man who traveled on a ship called bms eagle hms eagle or beagle and then he saw some patterns in galapagos island and he wrote a book his credentials are is a master of arts right and everybody is saying that yeah, darwin said we came from monkeys whereas if you see bhagavad gita the credentials of arjuna and krishna are they are rulers of the kingdom krishna of course is the supreme personality of godhead credentials of arthur keith who refutes or who argues against um darwin's theory has a credential of lld frcs frcs comes up from mbbs he is like a medical doctor frs and then holy bible the king james version who is a ruler of a kingdom so why are people believing origin of species written by a master of arts guy and not people who have much more higher credentials right so people are crazy and then that's why michael cremo he wrote this forbidden archaeology history of human race collecting evidence from um what's known as stratigraphy so stratigraphy means various layers of rocks and if something is found a bone is found in that layer of the rock it means that it belongs to that time frame so we have lithostratigraphy magnetostratigraphy and sequence stratigraphy is used for sea level curves especially for offshore um you know petroleum drilling that a lot of that stuff is going on because they want to go to the right layer to get the right quality of petroleum then you have biostratigraphy which talks about lineages you know if i find a bone in this level this belongs to that age group then you have isochrones timelines of the same thing so they may be higher or lower but these isochrones basically say that this particular layer is formed at this age so principle of superposition means anything that's in the topmost level came most recently and anything below that is older right so that's how it works and there are some trench profile methodology how you document this i won't go into a whole lot of detail but basically uh, you know you, as you dig you identify color changes chemical composition changes and you document that and put it on a computer so that if there is rain after you dig and everything gets messed up you still have that documentary evidence so you see that the oldest is at the bottom like this guy is dig digging way down here the topmost is the most recent and then this guy who took krishna's law and named his own law saying that if things happen at a particular level they belong to a particular type of stone or uh, shell or sand so it looks like we lost some connection for a little while but we are back so this is the strange thing about western scientists they take a natural law and put it their name some guy called walter he put his name with this science and he calls it walter's law but these are all called krishna's laws because ultimately all laws were developed by lord krishna who defined how the world should function so there are various archaeological sites in europe and um, africa so people found 50 million old uh, fossils um, in the layers of earth which are 50 million years old which means human beings were there 50 million years old again right so if we think that human beings only came 100000 years ago like charles darwin says that's totally wrong then we have in the table mountain in california where they found 30 million year old human remains which shows that uh, humans are at least 30 million years old in that part of the world then charles lyell he basically said in a book called antiquity of man that i showed a picture earlier that he talks about heidelberg mandible mandible means your lower jaw he found that in very ancient uh, rock strata strata means stratum means a layer of earth right so this is a picture from university of washington 
which shows that first cells came only like 1.75 billion years ago. So I put together a competing diagram for that, which shows, oh, I went too fast. Um, this is the timeline of the human race. And timeline of the human race is such that the earth comes from body of Mahavishnu, moon comes from body of Mahavishnu, devatas inhabit these heavenly planets according to Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, humans came 2 billion years ago and then 541 million years ago, a lot of new species came. Even Darwin acknowledges and is confused by this thing called Cambrian explosion. You can do a Bing search or Google search. Cambrian explosion is when all of a sudden millions of species just came about. How did that happen? He has no explanation, right? And then you have uh, the Ramayana, which happened 1.7 million years ago, where coexistence of Supreme Lord, devatas, um, humans, birds, monkeys, insects, everybody was coexisting even 1.7 million years ago. So what um, the British have done is they said, oh, Mahabharata happened 3000 years ago, Ramayana happened like 3500 years ago. So they're all modern times. So they can only think like that, right? So if you go to a kindergarten student and you tell them, hey, there is a country called India, they'll say, oh, is there? I thought uh, there is after Samamish, it is Isakwa. After that, there is Redmond. After that, there is Bhatan. So they will only think very closely, right? They cannot think very far. Similarly, with modern scientists, they cannot think this far, 1.7 million years ago. And then here is like a timeline chart. And on the left side, this is the uh, stratigraphy. So they are finding bones, but they are not attributing it to human beings. That's the challenge. So I did an Excel calculation and found out that 605 Yuga cycles ago, they were human beings in the Proterozoic period through stratigraphy studies. And the best way to understand stratigraphy is to go to Grand Canyon. There you will see that nature has given us a world's best museum. You have different layers, right? So you just have these different layers. They're, they're telling you where is shale, where is protozoic, like that. And one other example is by the NASA picture that they took from space. You can still see the uh, bridge that these folks built, the Warner Asanium helping Lord Ram between Sri Lanka and India. And they gave it an age of 1.7 million years ago, exactly the age of Ramayana, according to Shastras. So both of them, there is you no know, you know, mapping. So there are in a place called Letioli, humans were found 3.7 million years ago. Their footprints are found. So ape footprint is different than human footprint and what they found is a human footprint. Here is this lady and this gentleman who have dug up to that level and they actually are measuring the footprint lengths. These are archeologists. And then there is a place called Vishnu complex in Grand Canyon. They say this is called the Vishnu temple. Of course, it shows like a big rock, but who knows, this came from a long time ago, Proterozoic period. So it's like at least 2 billion years old. So who knows what was there, but it is called the Vishnu temple by the local people. So, and then there are scientists like Mary Leakey, they found modern human beings 3.7 million years ago in East Africa. And in Huyal Talco in Mexico, they found bodies or skeletons 300,000 years ago. So all of this shows that human beings are not young. We are going millions of years ago in the past. And let me skip to the last slide because I covered this yesterday. So here are 7.2 million year old fossils in Greece and Bulgaria. In uh, Belgium, 30 million year old fossils of human skeletons. And then in Morrison, uh, Morrisonville, uh, Illinois, which is you now close to Chicago, they found in a lump of coal, a gold chain, and it was eight karat gold. Gold, when it's diluted with copper, it becomes less carats. So eight karat gold has more copper, less gold. A 22 carat has more gold, less copper, like that. So somebody, 300, 260 million years ago, were doing this stuff. 
right? In Sweden, 5.7 million years ago, even before Lord Ram came, who, which was only 1.7 million years ago, 5.7 million years ago, there were people in Sweden. So we see they are in Sweden, in Belgium, in uh, Chile, in many countries. So, and then these are 500 million year old rocks. So the reason these skeletons are preserved is they were buried with limestone and limestone preserves bodies very well. And then the oldest is 2 billion years old when Michael Cremo encountered this. Um, this these are called the Klerksdorp spears. Um, just like you know, on a bell, you make some designs. These people back then, they made these designs in this perfectly well ground um, steel bombs, right? And they cannot be scratched even by steel, which means they were even superior to steel. And this came from Lehigh.edu. Lehigh, I believe, is in either Indiana or in Illinois, somewhere that university, very famous university. So all this tells us that human beings are pretty old as old as 2.8 billion years. And if I do the page down, as recent as 100,000 years ago. So um, Charles Darwin upper bound is 100,000, but in reality, people have been there even before 2 billion years ago. So any thoughts there? <laughs> 